anak. So, welcome back sa ating video lesson for this quarter. So, our first module will talk about the four M's of production in relation to business opportunity. So, let me just flash our module na gagamitin natin for this quarter. Ayan. Okay, so you have uh, module 1, lesson 1, the 4 M's of production in relation to the business opportunity. Okay, so we would like to acknowledge and give all the credits for this module to Mamla of Joy Ocampo, so teacher 2 of the Justada Makabagal Memorial High School. Okay, now let's start the overview of this module. Uh, you can use this uh, discussion for uh, review for your master test since medyo na late yung upload ko nito. Okay, so this one, so you have lesson one, the four M's of production. Okay, you have your what I know, the preliminary activities. And then, so you have here our lesson one, the, describe the four M's of production. So, what's in uh, the activity? So, you could uh, look for a partner for this activity and you can share your thoughts to answer this table. Okay, you could also do this by pair. You're going to create a brand name. If you wanted to draw a logo, you could do so in your notebook. So what's new? Here you have drawings and you are just going to identify uh, what are the four M's of production that this uh, picture indicated. Now, okay, so for the discussion, so this talks about the operations management. Ah, uh, medyo maingay yung aso, so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so operations management. So this uh, states uh, that every uh, factors of production should uh, be maximized for ayan, maximum efficiency. So you could produce more and with little cost. So this definition also states that the sales team and the production team works hand in hand because every products or services that the market or the sales team uh, sold to its target customers, the production team would uh, react to it by creating more products and delivering more services to the customers. Okay, so they would fill the gaps if let, let's say uh, kulang yung supply, so they will produce more. Okay, so if marami pa supply, okay, they, they will uh, produce less, let's say, for example. So now, what are the four M's of production? So these are, ayan, the man, the material, the method, and the machine. Okay, so let's discuss each. So first, we have the methods. Okay, so this suggested the process of combining raw materials. Okay. So, and how these raw materials would transform into uh, finished products. Mahirap naman umaro ng mouse ko. Okay. So, ayan. So, meron siya ditong example. And, ayan, additional discussion. So, yeah. If the labor is abundant and cheap in a certain locality, so, labor means the manpower, so, let's say, for example, ma madami and maraming pwedeng gumawa. So, ang pwedeng gawin ni uh, firm, so, they will use the labor force. Okay? So, labor-intensive techniques. Okay? So, they will use the labor force to transform the raw materials into the finished products. However daw po, if mahal naman daw po ang, ang pagbayad sa ating mga manpower, and the capital is cheap, okay? So, let's say, for example, maraming sources of capital, si firm. So, they will use uh, capital-intensive technology. So, they will uh, give or they will purchase uh, equipments and other materials to 
um, maximize the efficiency of production. So, okay, with the example here, ayan. So, bakery, ano kaya example nila dito? So, if small bakeries pa lang naman daw, so they will use manual labor in their uh, breads or bread production. But, if uh, large bakeries na siya, so they will use modern baking equipment. Okay? So, to produce more and satisfy the uh, demand of their customers. The number 2, M, is the manpower or uh, the human capital. So, human resources that uh, will handle the certain uh, operation of the business. Okay, also, this states at highest cost daw po siya. Yes, of course. Uh, hindi magra-run ang ating business without the manpower. Okay, so it doesn't only include uh, labor or muscular power. So, it also include intellectual and creative abilities. Especially this uh, time or this during the pandemic, our uh, creative skills to attract more customers will uh, a big benefit to uh, our company. Okay, so also... Ayan. Kapag lumalak na si business, should hire qualified employees daw po that can handle operational functions. And um, maybe if big company na siya, medyo critical na yung mga functions nila for their daily activities. So, also, ayan. So, example pa rin nila yung production of uh, pandesal. And manpower resources include ayan, a baker okay, and assistants. Also, if malaking business, uh, malaking bakery na siya, so you will also have a manager, also the sales clerks, and ayan, the janitors to keep the store or the production area clean. Next M is the machine. So these are the technology used in efficiently operating the business. Also called as the best friend of the manpower. Uh, because it greatly help the human capital of our firm to do their uh, daily task using those these machines. So it also represent all and man with physical capital used in the production process. Uh, these are the machine aside from uh, aside from tools, equipments, yung physical plant. Okay, so are also part of the machine. So yung mismo uh, factory natin. Okay. And also, and without machines, uh, operation could be too unmanageable, especially if malaki na yung production natin. Also, costly, since, tulad nung sinabi natin kanina, yung labor force yung gagawa kung walang machine. So, purely manual labor. So, sabi nga kanina, mahal ang ating uh, highest, highest na uh, pinaglalaan na natin ng capital ang human capital. So, kaya magiging costly siya. And also, sometimes with low quality. Because since manual labor, nagkakaroon ng mga human errors then. Siyempre, hindi maiiwasan yun. Uh, machine could lessen that. So, hindi, hindi naman siya 100% na si zero error, but at least it could lessen. So, mag, at least, papano, magkakaroon siya ng high quality output or finished products. The next M is the materials. So, uh, it is used in creating a product or performing a service. Uh, it includes uh, the supply chain management. So here, and uh, for the example of uh, making a pandesal, so you need several materials. So you have flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and other ingredients. Okay, so uh, additional uh, topic or information. So, make sure your supplier of raw materials should have consistent and sufficient amount of supplies. So, para hindi kahit paano uh, na de-delay yung ating production. Uh, Doon sa inyong mga business plan, merong mga mag-food din, food industry din. May, may mag, parang may mga Shanghai, merong uh, mushroom base, yung mga nabasa ko sa inyong mga business plan. So, ayan. So, you make sure that hahanap yun ang supplier na kaya-kaya nila isupply yung inyong mga needs. Also, ayan, yun yung sabi ko. So, they will not cause interruptions sa inyong production. So, here, ayan, materials reconditioning options. So, we have three. 
The first one is yeah, manufacturing your own products or offer services. So you would create everything. So you will create your finished products through your own ayan, manpower, machine, and materials. Okay, so using this, and you can closely monitor the quality of your products. So lahat kayo nagagawa. Actually, this sa business plan ninyo, parang ito talaga siya. Ito yung applicable sa mga ginawa ninyo. But you could also use ayan, outsourcing. So here, you you are going to use a third party okay, to create your finished products. But there are also risks, sabi dito. So, because uh, profit shared with the third party, since sila yung gagawa uh, ng inyong mga finished products. Also, if they run out of supply, so, o kaya mag-close yung inyong third party or yung outsource party. So, there is a possibility na mag-close na rin kayo if hindi kayo makakahanap ng ibang uh, mag uh, third party na maggagawa ng inyong products. Also, ayan, since hindi naman kayo mismo yung uh, nakadirectly involved sa um, creating ng inyong business product, ay, finished product, uh, possible na magkaroon kayo ng mga standard finished products. Okay? Ayan, so this module has also additional tip. So if mag-outsource ka daw ng iyong product sa isang third party, you must protect it through either of these three. So patent, trademark, or non-disclosure agreement. Because there could be a possibility na since sila yung gumagawa, maybe an employee or uh, the company itself could imitate the products that you are uh, outsourcing to them. Okay, so patent, trademark, or non-disclosure agreement could do. Next, doon sa ating ayan, material requisitioning option, ito yung pangatlo. So, purchasing your own products or services from present suppliers. So, here, so yung finished product na talaga. So, let's say for example, yung inyong uh, gagawing, ano ba yung naalala ko doon? Let's say yung, ayun, yung parang kabuti chips. Okay, so, finished products na ninyo yun na kukunin sa isang supplier. Okay, so, hindi na kayo magpiprito, hindi na kayo magpapa, uh, magbibilad, ganun. So, yung mismong product na nakapack na siya. And ititinda nyo na lang. Okay? But the disadvantage of this is as an entrepreneur, so, you cannot own the brand name of the products or services. And also, yung pagkukuha nyo or the manufacturer, uh, pwede rin siya magtinda sa iyong mga competitors. Okay? Okay, so traditionally, apat lang po yung M. So, for uh, M, so production. But for this discussion, let's add another M. So, this is the money or the financial resource of the company. So, money helps or is needed to, of course, purchase raw materials. So, the first M. The salaries for the manpower uh, and the manager. And also for the uh, machines. Okay? So, all of this M of production uh, functions together. So, they cannot function alone. Okay? So, kailangan nila magtulong-tulong for uh, efficient and effective production management. So, let's go now to uh, resource inputs. Okay, so, we have intermediate inputs and the factor inputs. So, let's discuss this. So, these are the ma two major categories. Okay, first one, the intermediate inputs. These are the semi-processed materials. Okay, so that uh, also called as the raw materials. Okay, so yun yung mga based on dun sa ating example na pandesal. So yun yung mga sugar, flour, etc. Okay, next is the factor inputs. Factor inputs are the transforming inputs. So they are also called the productive inputs. So, ayan, it includes yun, si yung mga M natin, si manpower, si uh, capital, or the machinery, and also could be the 
technology. So, si intermediate inputs, siya si materials, yung isang M natin. While the factor inputs could be the three M's. Si manpower, machinery, and the metal. Okay, another. So, bakit daw si Manny? So, indirect ang kanyang participation. So, hindi siya direct. Because, ginagamit natin si Manny to purchase raw materials. And, to si, ulitin natin, purchase raw materials for uh, the intermediate inputs. And, pay for salaries and even machineries for the factor inputs. So, using money, it could also have an indirect participation in the operations management since uh, without money, hindi talaga siya tatakbo. So, hindi ka makakabayad ng uh, labor or ng manpower, hindi ka makakabili ng yung moral materials or could uh, also, or you could not also purchase equipments. Next, let's go now to the product description. Yeah. Product description, this is one of the most important aspect of selling. And I believe medyo na uh, discuss na rin natin to do sa 7 I yeah, the 70s. So ano siya sa unang una yung product. But here you could also see three rules to visualize a product description that sells. So first is know who your target audience is. So sa first module pa lang ata or yeah the first module, dinidiscuss na natin kung sino talaga yung inyong target market. Okay? So, anong age bracket nila? Uh, let's say, adolescents, or yung mga infants, or could be senior citizens. So, ano yung age bracket na audience na inyong gustong uh, pagbentahan ng inyong product? Also, and is it teens, young professionals, or senior? Next is focus on the product benefits. So, we also discuss that you should at least solve a customer problems using your product. Okay? It also, here naman, it indicates in, it can improve buyer's life. Okay? So, it, it can improve or it can solve using uh, the products that you're offering. And next is use good product images. Okay? So, makikita natin to sa marami sa ating mga social media, ang ganda nung nilang mga uh, images to attract the customers, yung mga nagpa-flash sa ating mga news feeds. Okay? So, uh, product image is more uh, important than the description or even reviews. Okay? So, 60, 63% daw po ang mga customer na nag-iisip na gano'n. So, kapag maganda yung nakita nila, it could also affect their thinking. Okay? Next is... And, and quality of photos will show customer all the key features of your product. So, feature pa lang. Panalo na. Gano'n. <laughs> Next is... Ayan. So, prototype. So, actually, may nagbigay sa akin ng prototype this quarter, though hindi ko pa naman talaga siya nire-require. And kahit picture nga lang, sabi ko nga sa inyo, picture nyo lang and then ipopost natin doon sa ating group. So, ayan. A prototype is an initial creation of product that shows the basics of what the product will look like. Okay, so yung nakita ko naman, ayan, naka, maganda na may packaging niya, tapos um, yung isa, merong mayroong logo nung business nila, yung nakabato. Okay? So, ayan. However, it is not meant to be the final version. So, it, you could also improve that. So, kung ano yung sa tingin yung kailangan nyo pang baguhin, pwede pa naman. So, since it's a prototype, konti, konti lang ang production nito. So, very minimal. So, let's say, ipapataste test nyo sa mga public places. So, before nakikita natin yun, so, this would be uh, challenging during our time because of the pandemic. Okay, so these are, ayan, sample ng prototype. So, ano daw mga advantages ng prototype? Ayan. Creating prototype gives you the opportunity to test and refine the functionality of the design, especially dun sa mga gadgets, siguro to, or mga appliances. Okay, next, it makes possible to the test to test the performance and quality. Uh, also, kung food naman, since marami kasi ang gumawa ng food dun sa inyong business plan, so yung taste, eh, magugustuhan ba siya ng customer? 
Also, number three, describe your, help you describe the product more effectively with potential buyers. So, let's say, mag, uh, siguro, mag-video conference. I- hawak niyo yung product ninyo, and then, i-discuss niyo siya sa inyong mga potential buyers. And, it will encourage others to treat you more seriously. Since meron ka ng prototype, may nagawa ka ng product mo, totoo ka. Parang, iisipin nila, ay, oo, kayang-kaya niyang gumawa ng ganong product with high quality. Okay? So, that ends the discussion for this module. Ang ingay pa rin talaga ng aso, matapos na aking discussion. So, ayan, I'm really sorry for that. So, you have your uh, What's More activities. Ayan, so you have a puzzle here. And what I have learned, possibly baka malabo yung nandyan sa inyong uh, module na naipamigay. So, write down uh, lessons that you have learned about the 4 of production. So, ayan. you could write this in your notebook, ha? Mm. Okay, so you also have what I can do. Assessment and additional activity. Okay, so you have to fill out the boxes. Uh, possibly you could relate this to your business plan. So, ano yung method ng inyong nailagay sa inyong business plan? Ano yung ilan yung manpower ninyo? May mga cashier doon, may uh, cook, may mga ganun na check And machine. Materials. Ano yung mga raw materials nyo? Okay, so that ends our discussion. So, for this is good for week 1 and week 2. Okay, so that's all for now. Uh, I will going to upload uh, week 3 module discussion soon. Bye-bye!